Imagine if we had a way to simulate gravity. Imagine that we had a machine that would make it easier for us to just walk like regular human beings on the surface of the moon or the surface of Mars. That sounds incredible, right? And to be honest, it all sounds impossible. But it doesn't have to be, because right now, Blue Origin is looking for ways to simulate gravity in space. This is Super Freaky Science, and today we'll be looking at Blue Origin's plans to originate gravity in space. Yeah, we know, that wasn't the best phrase, but it does sound neat. The Plot as the title of this video may have told you, Blue Origin wants to invent gravity on the moon. And as the intro may have told you, that's nearly impossible. But it appears that Blue Origin doesn't care too much about impossible things. The company and NASA have now teamed up to develop an artificial gravity system that will operate within a spacecraft. So, no, NASA and Blue Origin aren't about to install a giant gravity-generating system in the middle of Mars. Instead, they're starting small. They are installing a giant gravity-generating system in the middle of a spaceship. That sounds a lot simpler and a lot more possible, right? And yes, it is simpler and the chances of success are high, but it isn't a sure thing. The plan. So how do Blue Origin plan to generate this gravity? Are they going to find a part of the Earth's core and then extract gravity from it? Ok, yeah, we know that's impossible, but it's fun to think about, is it not? Well, here's the plan. The plan, in theory, is to create a rapidly spinning capsule that generates centrifugal force, much like a carnival ride. And how do they plan on doing that? Well, it seems the only way to do that would be to turn Blue Origin's new Shepard aircraft into a flying and spinning capsule that will create a gravitational force that's near as powerful as what's on the moon. So, no, the gravity wouldn't be as strong as that on Earth, but it will be just as weak as that of the moon. This spinning trick, as we like to call it at the Super Science Factory, will generate gravity like the one on the moon. It may be weak, but it will definitely make it easier for astronauts to fly through space and would also make it easier to train astronauts in low gravity conditions. How will it work? What do you mean, how will it work? It will work like almost every other thing NASA touches. Through copious amounts of funding, shifted deadlines and the blood and tears of several hundred dedicated engineers and scientists. To make this work, Blue Origin would have to modify the Blue Shepard so that it would be able to rotate around 11 times per minute. This way, it will be able to simulate a gravity field within the spacecraft. Will it work? The answer to that is, well, we don't know. For one, the Blue Origin rockets have never actually left orbit. However, they've managed to cross the Kármán line, 100 kilometers off the ground that's commonly accepted as the border where Earth ends and space begins. So while you may agree academically that the rocket of Blue Origin has reached space, most people won't agree. What this means is that even the Blue Shepard doesn't yet have a tested and trusted rocket. So it's impossible to know whether this gravity-creating plan will work or can even work. Now for our wager. We'll tell you a super freaky science fact right now. If you've not heard it before, you have to smash the like and subscribe buttons. If you have, you still have to do it anyway. Deal? Deal. Some metals are so reactive that they explode on contact with water. That's freaky, right? Let's move on. Why is this important? Why indeed? To the average onlooker, the spinning Blue Shepherd is just neat and maybe cool to look at. But that's just it. It isn't important in any way. But that's not true. If this mission to create partial gravity is accomplished, it would have great consequences for our plan to conquer the Moon and our solar system. For example, many, 
many systems are designed for use on Earth and simply doesn't work anywhere else. This means that a lot of the tools that NASA needs to take to space can be tested right here on Earth under those partial gravity conditions. That would quell a lot of uncertainty concerning the usefulness of our tools. Right now, experiments that require moonlight conditions often require a parabolic flight, which isn't very useful because it only offers a few seconds of lunar gravity at a time. However, if this system works out, Blue Origin will be able to offer lunar gravity for at least two minutes at a time. Some of the experiments that may have been carried out, including the mining of the moon's soil, developing life support systems for astronauts, and a living off resources on the moon. The possibilities are endless, and that's why it's important. Will Blue Origin be successful? We don't know. But we know that this is the beginning of exciting times in space exploration. That's it guys, remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons, stay super, and leave the freaky part to us.